Hello and welcome to part 3 of May 1970. I think I've got that right. Well, if I haven't. Hello, welcome to part 3. Here is part 3. Mm -hmm. Gee, these are, oh my god, these are a bit dodgy in this one with a little thrust. And you'd need your welder to do that too. With a little thrust from Atlas Copco. That does, that does sound like a... <laughs> does sound like a porn star's name, doesn't it? In Marsha Does Marsha, stars Atlas Copco. Oh, apparently it's taught air to think. Wow. Are you kidding me? It gives the finesse to fill lipsticks? And the guts to mine nickel ore. Mm. Nickel ore what? <laughs> What I actually find interesting about some of these ads is that why on earth would you have a hair product ad in black and white? And even then the model blasted with light as well. Ooh, that rhymes. Yes. Had the picture in black and white while she's blasted with light. Because this ad is a blight and I'm being horrible fright. I'm singing very flat. How about that? <laughs> oh. Every now and then I come across an ad like this. You love it just as much as she does. I don't think I need to say any more to that. Oh, except, thank goodness, times have changed. <laughs> if crabs grew aluminium shells, oh my god. Oh, that would make them harder to treat, wouldn't it? Next, <laughs> the new Datsun 1600. See, I said that one. Yeah, there's there's a massive outtake of me being unable to pronounce the Datsun. <laughs> oh, there's rain in the background. Oh well. There's an irony there because the next ad is. A Mazda 1600 stuck in the mud with the, the people running away from it. Unless they've stolen it. Or unless the car's broken down. I love those ads that are in fields and stuff like that. It, it's kind of like the starters getting them there would have buggered up all sorts of things and, and <laughs> they kind of then look like they've broken down. Oh my god. I just... This particular issue of Reader's Digest is so screamingly 70s. Oh my god. Are you paying 1970 wages for 13... No. For 1930 productivity? Oh my god. This just... Mm. Next I'll have her doing the ironing, and out of her doing the ironing. Oh, I just can't get over that. God. The only car radio... The only car radio that doesn't need expensive insulation no, of course not. She looks like she's stealing it. But it's a deluxe. 
The look on her face. <laughs> she doesn't care. She's, someone's taken a photo of her stealing this ferris. Actually, that's interesting. If it's a car radio, then you can honestly say that it's a ferris on wheels. Next. A new breed of American car. A hornet. It's here, it screams. This is the new breed, apparently. The old breed's been put out to pasture. Well, the Hoover ads keep going. This is the Hooverette. So I suspect it's a baby Hoover. Its sucking capabilities just haven't quite been honed yet. So it's a, that's why it's that's why it's light, lightweight. Oh God! Have more pleasure with Sharp. There's some really dodgy ads in this one. He really looks like he can't wait. <laughs> Maybe the idea is that it looks like he's singing along to what's... Oh, no. Ooh. Nice, um, knee highs there. <laughs> Just... What a look. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. The Four Wonderful Worlds of Walt Disney. So, um, interesting that they advertise it with Mary Poppins there. So if you don't like them, you can fly away. And as an irony, that's the end of the Olive Green Reader's Digest, May 1970. 40 cents. Wow. There we go. That's the end of that. Hmm. So... With all that happening, I just shall say my farewells. Thank you for watching. You take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.